Hello everyone, welcome back to Smith's Garage. In this episode, we're just gonna be going down a list of things I need to do in order to get my car good to go for this summer. Cause it's, weather's getting nicer and honestly, I just kinda wanna drive it and get it perfectly done so I can move on to my truck fully. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna move on to is I, my alternator still is not charging my battery and that is a big issue. Uh, there's been a long process up until now with that. So this is the alternator out of my car because if you watched my previous video, I my alternator wasn't charging my battery, so I sent it out to get somebody to take a look at it. And guess what? The alternator was actually perfectly fine. So that means that the not charging issue is because of something to do with the wiring in my car. So I, my plan was just to put this together and then record putting it back in the car. But for some reason, I'm having some troubles right now because every single time I tighten that nut down on the fan on the back, my pulley that goes on the front slides against the, the alternator itself because it's too close to the alternator. Like when I tighten this bolt down on the top for the pulley, the alternator itself won't even spin like at all. It just locks it up. So somehow when I'm tightening the nut on the back of the fan, it's pulling the spindle that goes through the middle of the alternator and it's pulling it down. And I don't even know how that's possible, but apparently it's just giving me a bunch of grief. I think I might have to take my alternator apart, which is not really something I want to do at all, but I'm starting to think that's the only option. I literally just broke my screwdriver. A brand new screwdriver. Brand new screwdriver and I broke it. So this is alternator number three. Um, I know, I've been through two alternators already, and it's actually pretty embarrassing, but you can make fun of me for it. I don't really care, because after pulling apart the second one, um, it was a friction fit shoulder that moved, and yeah, I'm just not something I feel like trying to fix. So I decided that, well, these were real, on a really big sale right now, and I also had a couple favors to pull, I might as well just get a new one to start fresh, and then I can figure out my wiring issues later. So. Now I just gotta put it together and not break it. Now I just gotta put it into the car. But, um, sorry if I block the view, but I'm not taking any chances this time with scratching it on the corner of the post because I bought a new uh, uh, engine tin piece for behind the alternator because I scratched the old one. So hopefully I can do that. And what this whole black thing is actually unbolted. So the goal is, the thing is, is it hits that, which is the shit part. Oh. Can you just hold the hood like that? Well, that was really easy. I can't tell you how much harder that was last time I did that. So I don't know if you could see what just happened there, but um, what the issue I was running into last time I took my alternator out was uh, my, I couldn't get my fan shroud to lift up high enough because I unbolted it from both sides because I have this uh, fancier chrome spring to hold my uh, hood up. But um, I had some help and I noticed if I hold the hood down a little like this, it actually lifted the spring higher. So I had somebody hold the um, hood down and then I could lift this higher and my alternator slid right in way easier than any other time I've done it. So now the difficult part is just to get the engine tin to sit back down in its original spot because it's still up high a little. And I got it to 
I have to get it to click back in. After all of that, um, I now have a working alternator in my car, and so I just need to figure out why it's not charging my battery and go trace my wiring back. This is just a little diagram that I'm kind of vaguely trying to see if it matches up with my car. So I'm gonna get started with that, see where it goes, and hopefully I can fix it easily. And it's just like a grounding issue or something. Moment of truth. <sighs> okay, good sign. Fuel pump's running. Alternator not charging light is on. I don't know if that's supposed to be on when the key's on. No spark. That sounds good. Reading the right voltage off the battery. Reading the right voltage off the alternator. And if I disconnect the battery leads, it still runs. So that means my alternator is charging enough that it's firing the spark plugs. So I'm running with no battery. Nice. That's not very helpful. Um, okay. Okay. <sighs> Weird. Okay, so I kind of got pissed off on that one. Uh, so I'm gonna take a break from it and I'm gonna hit off some easier ones like the turn signals. Yeah, let's go do the turn signals. Okay, so that one was pretty easy. They just needed a bit of like dielectric grease and all that. And now they're good to go. Come on. This pen isn't very good at crossing out, whatever. Um, now, let's get the handbrake done as well. Why not? I'll take a look at my handbrake because as you can see right here, there's a pretty big crack from right to top to bottom and it likes to bend the other way. Um, so I have this nice new cr uh, chrome handbrake. I know chrome might not be the nicest color in here, but it's the only one they had. And chrome matches the handle to my shifter. Um, I already cut this little hole in the top to adjust the handbrake because it never stayed really tight. But this whole boot has to come off in order to do this handbrake. And 
well, to be quite frank, I don't really know. I, I There's no way to cut it that I can get to the things I need to get to without just cutting the whole thing off. Okay, so that one was fairly simple as well. Um, and this pen sucks. I like things when they're very crossed out. Oop, no, it's bubbling. Okay, um, I'm gonna try um, bracing the engine a little better. Yeah. Because that, that one's second most important on the list. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this engine brace um, or transmission brace and I'm going to cut these welds off because um, this is a 61 and newer transmission mid mount and I know you can buy the ones for 60 only but this was the cheapest one I could find and I thought I could just cut them and I'm going to cut a plate and weld it in between so that it works for my car then I'm going to test it out to see if it actually helps very much before I and then maybe I'll buy like a nicer one but I just wanted to buy this cheaper one from California Imports, just more of a, as a proof of concept. All right, so I cut it off and I took all the sharp pieces off because I usually cut myself. And now I have a nice edge that I can weld to later because once I'm done, it should be about like that much higher. Now I just gotta go measure exactly how much I need before I do that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm having a hard time measuring it, but I think if I make it my little in-between piece, an inch and one eighth. That would give me just the tiniest bit of clearance. So that, it's like you want them resting on here, but not too much. I'm also gonna have to shave these bolts on the bottom by a little bit because they stick down further than anything else under here. And I know that I'm gonna bottom out on them. But otherwise I just gotta go get that piece cut. Okay, I'm gonna continue making that trans mount in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna call it right here because I have a lot of video over a long period of time and I'm having a hard time, time keeping track of it. But the goal is I gotta get this list 100% done because this is all that's left on this car. Once this list is done, this car is exactly where I want it, fully done, which is an exciting thing. And I just wanna do that before I move on to this next project truck because yeah, but anyways, um, I'm also starting to run out of ideas a little bit on what to talk about with what I've already done with the car. So if any of you guys have any questions on anything I've done, let me know and I can probably combine a few of them to make a full video out of it and that'd be great. So without further ado, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.